Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Mr. Shrub, let's not make this personal. I appreciate your attempt to press the point, but we are here to press the issue. My city is in trouble, and I think we're not really providing any serious solutions. So far, we've got secessionists rearing its ugly head for the first time in a century and a half. We've got ignore it, and we've got give everyone a plow. You're all a, a little unrealistic, yes? I oh, come on, on now. Just you know, just I'll tell you there, my friend. Maurice, not to say over-opinionated and moronic, Mr. Grayshaw, how do we stop people running amok in the city with machine guns and heavy artillery? You've got to give a man a chance. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I'm looking for some English guy. Ken Paul. Ken Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Ken Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg? Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Kiss another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate? It's a mud game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Well, you could let them all... Marvelous. Great. That's a sensible plan. Then they wouldn't be guilty anymore. We've been doing that for years, you idiot. How do you think we'd keep prison costs down? They ain't by magic or cooking the books. We save that for education. But, as in most things, we in government are saving money so that you don't have to. When we spend less... Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. This way! Let's 
one thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shop is a couple of blocks away. But since you got elected, Vice City has been characterized by a government who cut aid to the poor, offered tax breaks to the rich, and paid people to dump toxic waste near schools. Yes, we've made a lot of progress. And up on Capitol Hill, you were instrumental in pushing through a bill allowing the manufacture and sale of giggle cream, a dessert with potential lethal consequences. Uh, not true. Only 23 people have died, and several of them probably deserved it. So, with people being set such a bad example by big business, how are they supposed to respect each other, to act safely in society? And how are they policed by a demoralized and underfunded police force? Well, I'm afraid that's apparently quite a difficult question, but my solution is easy. I'm going to talk for a long time about a subject not in any way related, and pretty soon people will forget all about it. I'll remind people that I have a great haircut, and that under my stewardship, Vice City has had on average 15% better weather than before, while crime rates only go up if you don't turn the graph upside down. Turn it upside down, and they have halved. Halved! Under me, Alex Shrub. Vote Shrub for president, and you'll have a friendly face in the White House. A man you can trust. A local man who likes golf and laughing and photo opportunities at your store or place of business. Just send me a letter. I'll send you an automated photocopied response. We call it democracy, and that's where the money goes. Now, just a Yo, minute. Don't interrupt. Let me finish. But you're not... Then this man won't let me speak. You, Shorty, shut up and let me speak. I'm taller than him, ladies and gentlemen, by at least three inches, which means I'm a lot more respectable looking. Everyone knows politicians lie and steal and cheat, but at least with me in charge, you know I look good and I have a very supercilious...